Uh, this is a very nice uh, picture, electron micrograph uh, picture from uh, a polysome. So what is uh, a polysome? Uh, well, uh, why do we call this a polysome? Because it has uh, some structures uh, similar to ribosome. Uh, it is ribosome, but these are the ribosomes that makes a kind of chain uh, uh, who are uh, or which are linked together uh, using mRNA. Uh, and uh, this is actually mRNA. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, each, each of them is a ribosome. Uh, and what, what is, which process actually they are in? Uh, they are in the process of uh, protein translation. Uh, once the mRNA, and these are mRNA, each, M, uh, each mRNA uh, will be translated by multiple ribosomes. So that's why you see uh, a number of the uh, polysomes, the number of the ribosome, which is called polysomes, uh, and they are linked uh, by the mRNA, and each polysome is doing the translation. Uh, so the reason is our uh, the translation is a very fast process and uh, it doesn't start from one, uh, one side of the mRNA until the end, but it starts with multiple ribosomes at the same time and each of them has the uh, potential for doing the translation uh, and finally making a protein out of the, uh, a big and a large uh, mRNA. So, uh, as you can see, the image shows an electron micrograph, a polysome, a multiple ribosomes simultaneous translating a molecule of mRNA. Uh, the central strand is the mRNA, the darker circular structures are the ribosomes, and the side chains are the newly formed polypeptides. So these are the side chains, uh, which are the new, uh, for example, like here. Is a new uh, polypeptide. Again, this is a new polypeptide, or this is a new polypeptide, and uh, and these are uh, ribosomes. They are attached by and between the ribosomes are actually the mRNA. And what you see out of coming out of each uh, ribosome is a polypeptide. So that's a very highly multifunctional translating mechanism or translating uh, a structure uh, of the cell. Uh, okay, I think we, we have already talked about this uh, table that what you are expected to know about uh, DNA replication. Uh, so DNA is, uh, the replication of DNA is semi or semi-conservative. Uh, if you remember, I already told about the semi-conservative uh, depend on the complementary base pairing. So, uh, because I want to make sure that really you remember what I said in the class, pause the video and start to think about it and answer what is a semi-conservative. Okay, I hope you pause the video and answer the question. Uh, I am going to show you again what is semi-conservative. So if there is a two uh, uh, a strands of, uh, of a DNA uh, while uh, actually uh, uh, actually could be like something like this, uh, and then they are going to be separated uh, during the replication. And this is a one uh, uh, strand uh, making a copy from this part and the other strand making a copy again from here. And the result would be something as this one is a new one and this one also is new one. But finally, once they are getting separated, you have a two uh, Strains, strands of the DNA uh, that this part is new and this part is new but this one is the old one and this one is the old one. 
So that's why you will get uh, a DNA which half of it is old, new, and this half is new. So old, new. That, that's the reason it is called semi-conservative. Okay, I hope you remembered uh, by my explanation. Uh, the, uh, the next thing that you should uh, remember we talked about is the functions of some proteins uh, or enzymes, sorry. Uh, and helicase, if you uh, remember, uh, was the enzyme was responsible for unwinding the DNA. Uh, so if this is a, a DNA strand, uh, again, I, I can draw here. And once it is going to be uh, separated, then the helicase is something which is uh, attaching over here in order to make the two strands to get separated. So that's the function of the helicase. Uh, another one uh, protein which is important is the DNA polymerase. And the function of the DNA polymerase is uh, attaching uh, here and then it adds uh, the poly, uh, the nucleotides over each strand. So that's the DNA polymers. So helicase and uh, here is polymerase. Okay, um, the next thing that you should know that's uh, the transcription is the synthesis of mRNA copied from DNA. That's it, that's how you already uh, explained. Uh, so we have actually uh, a starting if this is a if this is a nucleus, uh, the DNA is over here, and then a copy of a part of the DNA will be will comes out as a form of mRNA, and this mRNA uh, will be translated. In, inside the cytoplasm by the ribosomes. So each ribosome will attach to mRNA. And that was, you already uh, uh, observed uh, the ribosomes attached to mRNA as a form of polysomes by multiple ribosomes, which is called polysomes. Uh, and then this process uh, is called uh, a transcription. So transcription is a copy uh, from, from the DNA uh, and the result of the transcription is making mRNA. And then after transcription, which means the mRNA comes out of the cell, comes out of, sorry, comes out of the nucleus and attached to the ribosome and make the protein, which is called translation. Okay, so the next step would be uh, making polypeptide, which is the uh, which is the results of the translation. So uh, translation is the synthesis of polypeptides and ribosomes, and the amino acids uh, sequence of polypeptide is determined by mRNA according to the genetic code. Uh, yeah, I, I think we have talked about this translation uh, previously, so I'm not going to talk about it he here anymore. Once we are done with replication, then that's all. We don't go, uh, we don't talk about translation uh, at this stage. Uh, so uh, these, uh, these parts are all regarding the translation. Uh, all the things regarding translation, codes, uh, uh, the codon system and everything is in the previous slide. If you don't remember, go back to slide 2.6 and uh, re review the translation. Uh, okay, the, uh, the next page is about the DNA polymerase, uh, uh, po sorry, polymerase chain reaction, which is called PCR, polymerase chain reaction. This is a uh, a new uh, technology uh, has brought uh, hopes for genetic engineering once it was developed uh, and we are going to talk about this PCR uh, very completely with details 
by showing the videos as well. And uh, after that, uh, uh, it's about uh, production of heme and insulin using the bacteria. That's another topic uh, for this session. Uh, the table of genetic code to deduce which codon correspond to which amino acids. This is also again about the translation. Uh, Mesenson and Stahl, this is what we are going to uh, talk about uh, because, it's in, it, because it's related to semi-conservative and everything related to semi-conservative is related to replication. And this part is important uh, and it's the part of our lesson, uh, actually. And uh, mRNA codons and their corresponding amino acids did use. Uh, this is also about the translation. Uh, did use in the DNA-based sequence for mRNA strand. Uh, again, these are uh, already talked. Uh, it's about translation. Okay, if you uh, remember this picture, uh, this is a helicase enzyme, very nice, very beautiful, uh, and you know that enzymes are, are all of them are ending with A, S, E. Uh, they are, uh, this helicase is a fr from the family of proteins having multiple polypeptides. Uh, why do we say that it has multi polypeptides because, uh, because of this structure. So you see that here is one uh, polypeptide and here is another one, and uh, here is another and another, uh, uh, sorry, it's four polypeptides, one, uh, two, uh, three, and four. And these are the internal or in, uh, internal interactions between these four polypeptides. Well, uh, this is how the DNA helicase on wind and unzips DNA. Uh, I already mentioned uh, the function of the helicase. Uh, attaching uh, uh, in the place that is going to unwind uh, the, uh, the two strands of the DNA, uh, like here. Uh, a structure of DNA, DNA polymerase, very nice, very beautiful. Uh, and it also includes uh, multiple polypeptides, one, uh, two, three, four, and the interactions between them. Uh, so this protein family consists of multiple polypeptide subunits, and this is a DNA polymerase from human. A polymerization reaction is a condensation reaction. I hope you remember what is condensation means when something is getting polymerized, they lose the water. So that is called condensation. Uh, well, this slide is about DNA polymerase uh, action. So as you can see, uh, helicase is already uh, making uh, two strands uh, separated. And then uh, there is a function of the DNA polymerase uh, here and here. So uh, you will see that uh, the DNA polymer is making a nucleotide attached to each strand. Uh, but one thing uh, that if you not remembering, I'm again mentioning over here, uh, that the function of the DNA polymer is always moves from five prime to three prime direction. So this is very important. Uh, and uh, I hope you remember. Uh, if not, I'm going to explain again. So if you look at the nucleotide structure, so each nucleotide structure has uh, ending uh, with uh, carbon number five. Actually, the carbon, uh, uh, carbon is here, and uh, this is a carbon number five. So uh, I'm trying to uh, make it work. Uh, 
using this uh, pen so this is a carbon number five which is here uh, and uh, starting from uh, carbon here uh, carbon one uh, one two three four and five so there is a direction for each uh, nucleotide starting uh, from carbon one over here until five uh, so, but the name of the nucleotides uh, is, uh, is named as a prime. So one prime, two prime, three prime, four, four prime, and five prime. Uh, so each nucleotide has a direction of one side ending with a three prime at the lower side or downside, and five prime with the upper side or uh, upper side. So once the nucleotides are attached to each other, there is always a five prime from downside to three prime from upper side between them, uh, and like this. So what is the direction of the nucleotide as you can see over here? So here is a three prime side, two here as a five prime side. So this nucleotide has a direction as you can see three prime to five prime as this, as this direction. Uh, what you need to know is that polymerase is always making uh, make it work or do the translation or do its function by the direction of five prime to three prime. What does that mean? It means that um, if there is a polymerase function uh, at the five prime to three prime, it can happen only with one direction without discontinuity and with the other direction would be with the discontinu discontinuity. So uh, if you have uh, something like this and uh, if there is a five prime to three prime from here as a continuous direction, okay, but since the polymerase is moving from this side to this side, then the direction would be okay. So continuously it can provide nucleotides and make their polynucleotides. But once the, polynucleo uh, once the uh, polymerase uh, move from this side, uh, it is not the same direction as five prime to three prime. So the only thing is, Polymerase cannot do at this stage, same as this, this uh, strand. So polymerase should attach here and do from right to left, which is five prime to three prime. And again, polymerase attached to here and again does five prime to three prime. Again, polymerase attached here and does five prime to three prime. This is the, uh, and the reason is polymerase cannot do exactly uh, at the same direction of five prime to three prime while the two strands are separating. So it has to be multiple polymerases attached simultaneously to do five prime to three prime, five, time, five prime to three prime. And once it happens, these are called some fragments. And these fragments, if you remember, was Okazaki, Okazaki fragments do you remember who made this frag uh, who discovered this fragment pause the video and tell me who okay i hope you remember it was a, a japanese scientist who who found this okazaki fragment okay in the next slide uh it's not something uh it is not something that you haven't heard before. It's about the matching between the nucleotides according to their bases. So always A, which is adenine, will match with T, which is uh, thymine. And they are uh, having two hydrogen uh, bonds between them. And guanine will attach to cytosine. Uh, and they have three hydrogen bonds between them. 
So guanine to cytosine and adenine to thymine, that's the always matching between the nucleotides. Uh, here it doesn't show the details about the direction of the 5 prime to 3 prime. It just show uh, it is just showing uh, DNA uh, uh, making double strand. And uh, semi-conservative, which I, we have already talked about that. Uh, semi-conservative means one strand, which is new, new strands, would be uh, uh, making a copy of the old strand. So that's why always uh, a double strand uh, having half old, half new. That's the meaning of semi-conservative. Okay, uh, I, I finished this video until here and I'm going to talk about the polymerase chain reaction in the second video. Hope you enjoyed the first one, first video, and let me know if there is any problem. Thank you.